a good morning. It's a gorgeous day. It's a Friday and, uh, and I'm not at work. So I couldn't help it. Um, decided to jump on Roger and go for a little day out. Now I don't want to go too far. Um, I just fancy a little poodle, a little local poodle. Oh, look at the daffodils. Oh, pretty. So yeah, I fancy just doing a little bit of a local ride today. And one thing that I've noticed that uh, I don't want to happen is I, do, I don't want to be taking my local area for granted because I actually live in a beautiful part of Wiltshire. I'm so lucky. I'm far enough away from Swindon itself to not be actually Swindon. Um, but I've got all the convenience that goes with it. But on the doorstep, literally, I've got beautiful roads and beautiful views. So I thought today I'd just go on a bit of a local jolly. I keep going through Avebury on my rides and you kind of get glimpses of, of the stones and stuff but I thought I might actually park up today and get off and go and have a look. Where else do I fancy going? There's a couple of little local places which both um, Wiltshire man Sandy and uh, Dickie from Dickie Mint Cycles They've, they've both been there and they look really interesting. Oh, gravel, gravelly ons on the road. Uh, they look really interesting, so I thought I might pop along to some of those bit sites that they've seen. So sorry if you watch us of, of all the channels, but you, you might, might be repeating itself. Um, but I'm going to start with um, my commute route, which uh, you have seen once before in part when it was flooded uh, when I went to Savanac. Uh, but this is actually a gorgeous route when it's nice and sunny. So it's a little bit hit and miss today. I'm going to give it a go. So on part of my commute route um, starts with Hackpen Hill. And Hackpen Hill has one of Wiltshire's, I think it's nine white horses. Uh, there are a lot. Now these white horses are sort of carved for various reasons in various locations um, into the chalk downs because it's very chalky here. So when you carve out the grass you get left with bright white chalk underneath and uh, yeah, they do it on the sides of hills and you can see weird things like horses. Why not? So this is the bottom of Hackpen Hill and it goes up this gorgeous little wiggly wiggly which uh, I'll show you in a minute. But this is what I mean when I say I'm lucky. Now I've done my research and sensibly as a drone operator I have drone license, um, I've got an operator's license, the drone is licensed and I've got an app which I use which shows me the sort of no-fly zones. Um, the drone itself has got an inbuilt don't fly so it won't actually let you fly if it's in a um, restricted area like airspace etc. Um, I can see a helicopter over there so I'm just going to wait for that to uh, trundle on past.
use your bike. Bike friend. Oh, it's quite windy. No wonder the drone didn't like it. of the Ridgeway with the Hatpen Hill White Horse. Right, let's go and have a little look at the, uh, the Chalky Horse. So this will be a good test for the uh, DJI mic. I've got my wind buffer on, so hopefully you'll be able to hear some of what I'm saying. This this is why I couldn't get the drone shot. It's um, it's a bit gusty up here. Uh, so yeah, drone shot will have to come another day. But this behind me, oh, hang on, I've got the face tracker on. That's not gonna work. It doesn't track a horse's face. No rude comments. Uh, but this, is the uh, Hackpen Hill White Chalk Horse. So uh, I'll show you what that's made of. Kind of like a sticky, kind of chalky, residue stuff. Chalk, basically, which uh, gets very soft when it rains. So you've got some larger chunks and then you've got this kind of paste. It goes into like a, a chalk paste, which, uh, yeah. And they do come up and they maintain it and they sort of pick all the bits of grass out so it doesn't get too overgrown. Um, oh, that's, his, that's his eye and his ears. Yes, he's set on this beautiful hillside. Okay, time to move on, I think. So that was Hackpen Hill, which was originally built, I think it was in 1830 or 1860, something like that. It was to celebrate Queen Victoria's coronation. So whenever that was. And it was built by a local chap and apparently somebody from the pub helped him out as well. That uh, says a lot. So let's go to Marlborough, because that's where we're heading anyway. And I might try and get a photo of the, uh, the mound there, Merlin's Mound, which is actually inside the grounds of Marlborough College, so you can't, uh, you can't get to it. Um, but you can see it from the road. Apparently it's uh, the... What the hell? Apparently it's the sister mound to Silbury Hill. Sheeps! So this is the bed 
end of the moment of truth. Oh, there's water on the road, which means there is still a bit of water there. Oh, Roger. I've just got you nice and clean as well. Oh, pants. Great. So, Marlborough. Old historic market town. Old buildings. Very large high street. Don't tell anyone. There was nowhere else to turn around, guys. Sorry. So I managed to get a couple of sneaky shots from the road with the uh, Merlin's Mound. Right, where should we go now for some fun? Let's go do Avebury. Have some thatched cottages whilst we go. Bloody fringe. Need to go back and see Meg, my hairdresser. Poor old Meg, she does despair. <laughs> Last time she did my hair for me, she did it beautifully. She coloured it, cut it, straightened it. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> I walked straight out of the hairdressers and put my helmet on. <laughs> oh, bless her. It is a nice day for biking. Just up here, we've got Silbury Hill, the largest man-made hillock in, in Britain. Now, the other day, I uh, managed to get some uh, beautiful drone shots at sunrise. So I'll intersperse those here.
used to be able to walk up Silbury Hill, but you can't anymore. It's, uh, it's protected because uh, it was all getting a little bit trashed. Okay, it's a bit of a walk, but uh, why not? It's a nice day. Let's do this. Hey, are you all right? They ask me, sitting with a glass of whiskey. Eyes glazed over looking at the skyline Said friend, you know I love this city But sometimes you have to excuse me I let myself get lost up in my mind And I go to my countryside Take some time, remember tonight Sitting by the fire Watching the red sky sunset Let those bare feet sway and sweep Feel that warm breeze in that peace of my mind My countryside Sometimes I wonder why I left my home I fit in here but don't belong the grass and the soil beneath my feet Pecan rolls on Sunday morning I can smell the fresh warm coffee pouring Though I am far from home Home is not far from me I can go to my countryside Take some time, remember night Sitting by the fire, leaning back Watching the red sky sunset those bare feet sway and swing Feel that warm breeze in that peace of my mind My countryside Cause though I am far from home Home is not far from Well, there were some very, uh, very lovely ladies inside who were uh, channeling the energy of this place. And uh, they got a little set up with their burning frankincense and their, their drum and uh, candles. And uh, yeah, they're doing their thing. Well, 
well I've just inhaled some frankincense so that was a thing I've never done before I'll just go and see what else we can find <laughs> oh dear something to eat to actually leisurely ride along these roads. These, these roads are quite um, frequented by myself and my colleagues on our, on our rounds. Um, in fact, I've got a photo of an ambulance just here. Just because, why not? Hello, byway. What are you saying? What are you saying, Raj?
probably a really silly idea on your own. It is pleasant up here anyway. Apparently, over there is something called Long Tom, the Standing Stone. Well, I think having made the effort to get up here, I need to go and see Long Tom, the Standing Stone. That is indeed a stone and it is standing. Long Tom, the standing stone. <laughs> All right, mate. I want to touch it and be transported into another portal. Oh no, but he's warm. It's warm and kind of weirdly shiny. Well, thanks Tom. and seeing some of the local sites and uh, until the next time stay safe this is my country my damn country give me my country you can keep the rest this is my country my damn country and it don't mean a thing if you don't pass the test if you ain't never cheated or been cheated on then take off your boots you rhinestone frog In your high school memories This is my country, my damn country Give me my country, you can keep the rest This is my country, my damn country And it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test If you ain't never spent a single night in jail Then get another job and I'll see you in hell I'm drawn like a moth through the neon lights I need a bucket of beer and someone to find